Ah, yes, hard mode. One of the newest things added, and my favorite thing added. I say my favorite thing because I'm an idiot, and I played this game like an idiot to begin with, if you've seen anything on my channel. But, here are some tips from a guy who plays this game like a dumbass for hard mode that are going to be very, very handy for you. Now, I've been playing hard mode for all of 30 minutes, <laughs> and I can already tell you some, some, some things. Now, you're going to be using the three, your three starter trucks for a very, very long time. You're going to be using the Chevy, the Chevy Cup, not the Kodiak, the, uh, the pickup, the Fleet Star, and the GMC. You're going to be using those three trucks for a very long time. And don't be scared to. They're fairly good and solid trucks, so don't be scared to use them. Now, getting that, oh, uh, well, uh, let's see, that, uh, Fleet Star there, since in hard mode, you basically just skip the tutorial and you start a level 2. You just skip the tutorial completely. But you still, but, you still have to go get the GMC, and you still have to fix the Fleet Star, which is very simple to do. Now, there's a few different ways you can do, fix the Fleet Star that are very simple. Either, A, you can do like how I did it, and you can just drive to the Chevy and get the, not the Chevy, drive to the GMC with the Chevy, and just pull a, cert a service trail that's right by the garage right to it. Very simple. To fix it that way. Now, even if you put the fleet start in the garage, it won't matter. And there's a few other things. I gotta take care of something fast. Just give me a minute. Okay, so after you repair it, you can put it in the garage. I would say I put it in the garage and put the, the fleet star put the all-wheel drive on it, you can do it automatically, and then just take it right back out of the garage since it's not going to refuel it. Next best thing to do from there would be to take the GMC, and there's a small trailer not far from there to get the fuel point, not a fuel, to get a uh, fuel trailer not very far away, drag that over there and refuel the Fleet Star. It's doable, I know it's doable, I've done it. Now one other thing with hard mode, this is something I said with logging. Checkpoints, checkpoints, checkpoints. Now, what I mean by checkpoints is set up repair points and refuel points. You're going to need to do this a lot more often in this than you are going to do in the normal game. Since fuel now costs money, but if you take it out of a trailer, it doesn't cost anything. The best thing to do would be to find service trailers in the game, both service trailers and fuel trailers, put them in spots you know you're going to be driving a lot of. Now, one thing to do would be to just put a, I'm not kidding when I say this, put a service trailer and a fuel trailer right by the garage. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say this. Or even make a service truck, service truck set up with a fuel, fuel trailer behind it. That would work pretty well, too. For that, I do generally do that. Now, some other things to do in Michigan right off the bat. If you're going to go get this, well... Go get the Scout 800 and just sell it. The Scout 800 is a fairly good Scout truck. I love the Scout 800, but the not the Scout, but the the Chevy is a better Scout truck. And with the Scout 800, with some of the upgrades being a lot higher level, it's better to just sell it. And since the Scout 800 is also very flippy, it's better to just sell it. Now. One thing hard mode, nothing hard mode changes is the trucks don't pull with you. As in, if you winch to a truck, have a winch on a truck, it won't help you pull. <laughs> or, it won't help push itself. With that being, you're going to need to use a lot of heavier trucks. So, if you get the A and K, I suggest using the A and K only for rescue missions. Because that's, since the A and K is going to be very, very expensive to use now, with... All that being everything, pretty much. <laughs> With it being very expensive to use, the NK would be best to pretty much just to rescue trucks. That would be pretty much the only thing to be good for, the NK at least. Uh, well, pay to pull your vehicles now. That's another thing I'm going to say right here. Do Michigan first, and do the maps in order. Do Michigan, then do Alaska, then do... Temer, the Russian map, then do, I think it's Emrata, then the 
Yukon, and then it's Wisconsin. Do those in order, and then this map. If you're gonna do hard mode, and you're doing hard mode, this will save you a little bit of money. And when you take your trucks from one place and go to another place, it'll be a lot easier. Now, another thing that's very simple to do, just take a... When you're loading cargo on, just use a crane. It's not very hard to do. It'll save you a little bit of money. Packing cargo onto a truck isn't super expensive, but it's kind of expensive. If you do it a lot, so there's that. Now, since selling trails basically doesn't do anything. So, yeah. It's just... Eh. Now, since you can sell the Scout 800, apparently you can't sell your semis from the looks of it, but that's fine. Semis, you're generally going to keep anyway. Contracts, restricted a number of times. Now, you can only do those three times. The contest, you can only do three times. So, the best thing to do is literally to wait and make sure you have a truck that's leveled up. Now, something like Hungry Workers, you can do with the Fleet Star and get the highest rating. You just need off-road tires, and you can do it. Uh, now, search for facilities for the... the search for facilities for where... Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't English, it's in the morning at 8am, sorry. I just can't English, but when you're searching for places to get the cargo, the best thing to do is to, well, one thing you can do is actually go into just a normal new campaign and write down, I'm not kidding when I say this, write down where different places have different cargo. This will allow you to be more flexible and know right off the bat. Or you can just explore with a scout and with a trailer and go look. Now you can do that too. One other thing is to put a... Well, there are a few trucks that I'm going to say right now that are going to be your best friends. And that's the White Western Star and the F750. These two trucks are going to be your best friends. I say this because the F750 is the best scout service truck in the game. And the White Western Star is the best middle of the road truck of the entire game. It's the best middle-of-the-road truck. It just is. It doesn't burn fuel too bad, and it has 300 liters of fuel. So you can get pretty far with it, and it doesn't burn it that fast. Unless you have the upgraded engines in it. That's another thing. You don't really need to upgrade your engines too much. Really, you only need to upgrade your engines when you're doing the big stuff, like the... Like the, uh... Oh, what is it? Like the heavy duty trailers, basically, and logging. That's really the only time you really need to upgrade your engines. That's just your base game, too, I found that. But that's also from me playing like an idiot. Another thing that you don't really need to upgrade right away you can stick with all terrain tires for quite a while. <laughs> I know this because I'm an idiot <laughs> and have done an entire series with it. Another thing you can do. With that is, well, oh, let's see, all-terrain tires, let's see. you can use scouts for pretty much the entirety of Michigan. <laughs> you really can use scouts for pretty much the entirety of Michigan. So, you can use that Chevy pickup truck to do pretty much everything in that entire mode. Now, hopefully these tips will help you a bit. I'm sorry I can't talk. It's, it's literally 8 a.m. in the morning right now. Well, actually, it's 9 right now, but I've only been awake for, like, an hour, and my voice isn't here yet. And my faculties in my head aren't here either, so sorry about that. And hopefully some of these hard tips can help me for doing hard mode. I love hard mode because I'm a dumbass, and I play these games like an idiot. And I freaking love them. But, again, hopefully it helps. And, hope you enjoyed. Bye.